Hi, this is Gina at Art of Skin Care, and today I want to show you how to use the MTS micro needle for rolling your skin. Now, when we roll the skin, what we're doing is we're inducing collagen. We are stimulating the skin to produce more collagen. The MTS roller is perfect for this. It's a 0 0.30 size. This is what it looks like. Now, this roller does not come with a sanitizing solution. However, we do sell sanitizing solution on our website, so you can pick that up to go with it. You're gonna need a few things with this roller when you start to roll your skin. So the first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need the recovery serum from Neogenesis. Now, you can also use the Antioge microneedling solution, but that solution only comes with the micro uh, needling device from Antioge, which is a 0.25. So really when you're using the MTS with a 0.30, using the Neogenesis recovery is fantastic. The other thing that you may want to have with this is the moisturizing mist from Neogenesis. And of course, I'm going to be finishing with the Neogenesis um, Barrier Renewal Cream. So I'm going to show you now how to use these products. When you roll your skin, you want to be rolling on wet skin, not dry skin. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my recovery serum. I'm going to place four drops in my hands, right on my fingertips. And then I'm going to apply that to my skin. Now, when I do my neck and my chest, I'm gonna use more drops for that area. Four drops is for the face. I'm gonna make sure that I have applied that everywhere that I want to be rolling my skin. Now, in order to ensure that my skin is moist, I'm gonna use the Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist. This also has stem cells, cytokines, and growth factors in it as well, but it has a little more, bit more hydration so it's gonna give you that extra boost that you need to, for your roller to roll across the skin. Now, when you roll, you wanna roll up and down five times, sideways five times, diagonally one way and diagonally the other way five times. You can do that more than five times. You can also go over the skin more than once. Your goal is to get the skin to pink up. So I'm gonna start on my cheek. and then I would go on to the next spot. If you have some problem areas, maybe you have some dark pigmentation, or you have thicker skin that's built up from sun damage, maybe around your crow's feet, then you can go ahead and do that area more times. So areas that are more delicate, you can do less. Areas that are tougher and have a thicker, resilient skin or something that you want to be working on, maybe some wrinkles or lines or dark pigmentation, then you can go and do those a little bit more aggressively so that you get nice and pink in those areas. Now, for me, I've been doing this for a while. The first time you do it, it's not going to feel great. I wouldn't say it's super painful, but you definitely feel it. Um, but it's not bad in most areas. The only area that's really, to me, kind of aggravating and irritating is the forehead, especially this area where the bones are, when the skin is the thinnest. For me, that is the most uncomfortable area. So I always save that for last. Because by the time I get up there, I've had some endorphins released and the pain's just not so bad. So now I'm wetting the other side of my face. I'm gonna start rolling there. Now you can, I'm going kind of fast, but you can take your time. You don't need to speed through this. You can take your time and be thorough and make sure that you are evenly pinking up your face all over and even maybe getting more pink in those areas that you wanna be doing some extra work. Now, one area that people ask me about is rolling the mouth. Yes, be sure to put your recovery serum over your mouth and then add your moisture to that area and roll right over your lips. Get all those little areas where you want to induce more collagen. 
We all want more collagen around our lips. That's why we get those little lines around there. So just go to work in that area, play with it and get nice and pinked up in that spot. Now I'm gonna show you with the forehead. It's just the same as everywhere else that you've been rolling. So we're gonna go back and forth, up and down, diagonal, and diagonal the other way. And you're just gonna to continue to do that all over your forehead. You can roll right down into your brows. It'll actually stimulate some brow growth, which is really nice and handy. You can gently roll on the eyelids, super gentle, have a really light hand when you're doing that. I'm not pushing this roller down hard into the skin. I'm rolling over it, but I'm also not so light that I barely feel it. I'm using just enough pressure that I'm pinking up the skin and I'm feeling some um, prickling going on. I'm definitely feeling those needles going in there. I'm gonna work on this little areas where I get my expression lines, get extra pinked up through there. Now, once I've done my entire face, I can also go in, I encourage you to do the neck, the jawline, the neck, and your chest with this tool and with your recovery solution. When I'm done, I will go ahead and grab. Now we used to say that you had to wait an hour before putting anything else on your skin, but Neogenesis this year came out with a new product. I love this product. We actually helped in the development of this project. We were testers in our Artist Skin Care Test Lab. We tested this product for several months, helping them to find that perfect, um, feeling to the skin, so the uh, feeling of the lotion. So it was the perfect lightness, not too heavy, not too light. This is perfect cream for any kind of burial renewal. So dry skin, sunburned skin, post peel skin, and post microneedling. You do not have to wait an hour before putting something on. You get to put this right on your skin. Now I would still wait an hour before putting on anything else like your sunscreen, or if you're gonna be wearing makeup that day, I would wait at least an hour before you put those things on. So stay out of the sun for an hour. Don't go out in the sun after you've been rolling. See how nice and pink my skin is? That's what you want to achieve. If you're not pinking up, go back and do another layer all over your face. Microneedling is an easy thing that you can do to improve the health of your skin. And a lot of people are afraid of it. They're afraid it's gonna be really painful. You can take some ibuprofen before you roll, but really it's just not that bad. And once you get used to it, you hardly feel it at all because your body just gets acclimated to it. So I hope this is helpful and answers a lot of your questions about rolling your skin. And I hope this helps you to know that it's just really so easy. And so you can go ahead and give it a try yourself. If you have any questions, reach out to us on live chat. We've been microneedling for years now and the staff on there can answer all of your questions.